Welcome back, Hamish. Hello, how are you? I'm very well. Did you have a good Easter? I had a marvellous Easter down at the Wanaka Air Show. Thank you very much. Nice. Now, you have got some ideas for us to uh, keep the kids entertained school holidays. That's right. Well, it's really cool, isn't it? We just finished Easter. Um, and then, hello, let's go back to school oh, for two weeks. Today now. off as oh, well. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah, today off as well. And then how about should we give them some more holidays because they need those. Yeah. Um, okay, so what we've done is we're going to do some fun activities. I was about to say craft, but we try not to, don't we? I love craft. <laughs> fun activities using something simple, nice, cost-effective, terracotta pot, and resin Okay, paint. so what do we need for your crafts? Quite simple, terracotta pots, you're looking at, you know, about $2.50 for the pot, mm -hmm. $2.50 for the saucer. You're going to want some resin terracotta sealer. You're going to do that the day before. So um, our sweet producer Jasmine got stuck in and did that earlier for us. So you've and, got to uh, be a little bit prepared. Yeah, okay. test pots, paintbrush, masking tape and this because you're going to need to stir some of them well. Did you get this from the Australian cricket team? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good burn. Oh, I like it. Or was it sandpaper? Um, you know, so I just had to top up on my coffee, yes, sorry I was enough. late to the party here. Um, what ages are we talking? Who's this good All for? All ages really. You know, it's it's about getting in and being creative, trying not to be too strict on this overall plan. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay, so we've got um, three different videos to show you, three yes. different design styles and how you can do things differently, so let's take a look at the first clip. Okay, good. Okay, so right now, um, our dear producer Jasmine has got children down teaching them masking. Masking tape's been wrapped around the base of the pot with the idea to create a look that means the pot has sort of been scooped into the paint, you know, and dipped into a bucket. Oh, yeah. So they've got an array of resin test pots there, which, uh, you, I mean, you can choose any sort of colours you want. Jasmine decided to go with pastels, and as you can see, the kids are very cleverly choosing what they want. Some of them chose to paint the, uh, the, uh, the tops of the sauces as well, which is kind of a cool thing. Here they are finished. So you see how it looks like they've been oh, scooped in? Oh, they yeah. look good. Nice. And it, I mean, it's a simple, cost-effective thing to do for the kids. Yeah, that is really That's that like is candle really cool. dipping for terracotta pots. It's like can That's beautifully mm. put, Mike. Mm. See, all of I don't know how I know that. <laughs> um, it looks cool. It looks really modern as well. You got any other sort of design ideas? We have. Okay. Well, one of the things I could note too, um, with the mask, you could actually have used things like rubber bands as well if you've got them lying around to give you the patterns. Yeah. Okay, oh. let's take a look at the next one. This is using blackboard paint. Oh, okay, good. Okay, so here they go. So you've got actually got three different colours you can get of blackboard paint. Who knew? You wow. can get the black, you can get green, you can actually use a pink. None of the children chose to opt for pink, so hence we've got a lot of black and one sweet young man is using uh, green on the end there. You can oh paint boy. the entire pot yourself. You'll notice how clever they are. They're using their finger in the pot to lift it and turn it, right? Nice. And then if you wanted to, of course, you don't have to paint the whole pot. You could just paint a label on the side. You know, that sort of thing works as well. Here they are finished. The kids then use chalk to write their sweet messages That's on. That's lovely. And the green side. one's got love on it. I like it that. It does. I like that one mm. as well. And I guess that gives you the ability to scrub it off and write to <laughs> Nana that is and exactly give it to her for right. Christmas. Yeah. Yes. Oh, <laughs> hey, Nana. And then just steal the pot back yeah. and wipe it off and say, <laughs> hey, Mum. Yeah. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Or, of course, you could just change whatever herb you might be growing in the pot. So yeah. basil through to... Um, what's coriander, isn't that oh, Mark's if favourite? Seed, if you put seeds in something, you could do that. But the seed, you know what, oh, you've planted. You could, oh, when you yes, sowed them, you no go. smell. Okay, we've got one more to go for you. Yes. Okay. Yes, what Are is this ready? one? I think I'm ready. I'm enjoying these. Play our video, please. Okay. Here we go. This is my favourite one. Okay, so this is, we're going to do the effect of pot upside down. We want it to look like it's almost like melted wax and the paint is dribbling down the side. This is really fun and clearly, as you can tell, the kids had the best one. You're going to want to cover your child for this one, either an apron or maybe um, an old business shirt or something like that. It's oversized, seems to keep them clear. Sauce bottles from the $2 shop, get this, they actually cost $2. Nice. Wow. I mean, there, there's a go. And yeah. you fill your sauce bottle up and away you go and you squirt it and let it dribble down. At this point, like, try not to take too much control over it. Let the kids have a bit of fun. You know, at the moment in the resin sale, the uh, test pots are $3.50 for the standard colours. They move up from there if you want the metallics to add a bit more fun to them. Mm. It's a simple, fun process. Plastic drop sheet, always a good idea yeah. at this point. And remember, if you are using some of the metallic paints and the blackboard paints, you're going to want to use a stirrer to stir them up to make sure it's all mixed. Yeah, and you know what? There's never a thing as too much paint either, I reckon. No, it's about having fun. And um, oh, we, oh, we haven't seen our end result yet. There we go. There's our end oh, result. Oh, yes, pictures. they look good. So you get the yeah, idea of cool. what, they, what they end yeah. up looking like. They're really, really cool. Very cool. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, so just to reiterate, yes. what is the most important part of getting this craft corner set up for the kids? Keeping well away from them while they're using the paint. No. <laughs> let them go crazy. Okay, let them go crazy. Okay, terracotta pot. Yep. Find some. It can be an old one you might have at home that you can repurpose, or you can just pop down. They are really cheap. I mean, $2.50 and $2.50, $5 to, to get stuck in. 
Um, have fun with the colours. Yes. Maybe take the kids to the resin store and let them choose the colours. Let's mm -hmm. face it, there are hundreds and hundreds of colours to choose that from. That one's called Zinzan. Zinzan? I like it. Mm. It's, it could be like if you're the rugby sporty mm. person. I, used, I know a rugby person there. You do. There you go. Um, nice you want to seal it and you want to probably do this yourself and just seal it the day before because the kids aren't going to want to put on sealer and then and sit back and go, yeah. mm, that was a fun project. It's a lose interest. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, parental caregiver. <laughs> yeah. <Improved> our pay. <laughs> um, and then just make sure you've got what you need. A drop sheet. Doesn't have to be a fancy drop sheet like we have. It can be an old sheet, it can mm. be newspaper. Probably be careful if you're using newspaper, you might want to put some little pegs to stick it up, otherwise the paper's going to stick when all their paints drip mm. down. That'll make for unhappy children. I, can't nice. I was OCD, so that was me. <laughs> I, can, I can tell. Hey, no, brilliant. Great idea. Loved it. Thank you. No Great to have you on the show. It does look fun, doesn't it? And if you want to get prepared for the school holidays, Razine's 25% off sale ends on Sunday, so make sure you're heading to store to make the most of it.